Okay, this is a DC-17 Dyson. Um, these things have a few inherent problems. I bought mine refurbished. Right now, I've got the canister off, which uh, everybody should know how to do. And to clean the uh, cyclones is not so easy. So what you have to do is you have to get a star screwdriver. And let's see, I don't know if I can read you the size of it. The only thing I see on it says S2-7158, but anyways, down inside this thing, let's get a flashlight, down inside the uh, canister, there are going to be two bolts to take out, and you can see one right there, I already cleaned it off. See the other one, uh, maybe not, because it's really, really dirty. Yeah. Just good dust and cat fur. So if you're having a noise in your roller, make sure that you check the uh, motor and the wheel here, gear. So that gear, if you happen to the vacuum and the damp, that gear will get clogged up and therefore cause all kinds of loud noise when the roller comes on. So if the roller off, the vacuum sounds okay, but the roller on is bad, check this gear. Um, you're going to have to use some screwdriver to get in there and pry it over the bolt. See the bolt on the end? And then once you get the roller off, Belt is okay, which this one looks like it's still okay. Just check all the. I'm gonna wash it off though. Let it dry. Check the uh, all the grooves in the belt. And most of the vacuums come with the extra. Sources, there are three hidden tabs to open this. One here, one here, and that was one, two, and then three on the other side. Now, supposedly, you got to really twist, and they say that it's normal to damage this a little bit. you take those screws out that I showed you previously and then the easiest way this is a trick now the way I got this thing apart is not easy because there are three hidden tabs as I said but what I did was I'm sitting Indian style I got this thing stop it I, ain't talking about. I got this thing when it was together okay like that Week two, I put it on my leg like this, and I pushed each end right across from where that one. Excuse me, I, I had it where the one tab was, and it started to click. I started to click, it started to open. So screw that. 
are trying to use just two hands, you're going to have to have something to put it over. And the softest thing was my leg and my John Schwartz, as you see here, yeah, nice and dirty. And I mean, I've already vacuumed, 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 vacuumed. And look at the inside of this thing. Golly. Now, there's eight more screws here. There's star screws here, here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe it's only four. So, you know, these are star screws, and remember I told you, you have to have a special instrument. I have a special toolbox here with these, um, a wide variety. Believe it or not, the toolbox is about, I bought this online on eBay for like $11, $14. And look at that, look at this stuff. So this is the, this is the one that I used. These are not your typical toolbox, so, look, if you're not mechanically inclined, don't do this. Just, just pay some money. like me and you like to take things apart and I took my sister's record player apart and made a flying socket when I was the first thing I took it apart and I screwed that but I didn't care and I still don't care so I gotta take it apart and break it and figure out how it works but this is gonna work it's gonna be clean and I think what caused this was vacuuming the carpet while it was still damp from something do not do that especially with the Dyson do not after there's four screws, there's four more screws that you take out. Then it comes apart like this. Now this may not be as fancy as the, something else you find on YouTube, but this is the real deal here. This ain't no mock-up, crappy old, looking like it's easier than looking at ice cream cone in the video. This is the real deal. And look at this. There's no way in hell I could have gotten in there and cleaned these things out. Because there's no way from the top. And there's no, how could I have gotten through all this mess to get clean this? This vacuum is going to be refurbished like new when I'm finished with it. I got another dice in here. Look how dirty it is. So I'm going to have to vacuum this, clean it. Let's see what this is. could get through that my eight cyclones was about down to four maybe three look at this Snoopy and Inca and Callie and Dexter oh my god it's growing more and more it's like you know when you eat something really bad and friendly I hope the new models fix this because uh, I'm never buying this model again I'll tell you when I got it it would have unbelievable suction there's eight more star screws in there see you in a minute okay folks here's the other side there's eight there was eight more so if you have two four eight if there were odd numbers it'd be like the prime series but anyways here we go look at that look at that look at that oh my all my wife's here. Clogs up everything. Damn it. Clock. See what happens when you get married? You get clogged vacuum cleaners. I can have 15 dogs and 100 cats in there. Alright, well, I'm not going to bore you with pulling this out. I'm going to make a little. Just normal carpet and dust. Look at this. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to take the top piece 
off the cyclones and you can get the cyclones to get out. I'm surprised I haven't thrown the motor out. And I've already cleaned it out the motor out, but look at this. And now we're going to rinse it all this stuff down, let it dry up real good. Man, I forgot how the hell it goes back together. I might watch my own video to figure it out, but it is just disgusting. You know, really, buy you a dirt devil when it clogs up, toss it in the garbage. This is a $400 stain, and it's, look at that, clean and is now dry. Just to dry very good. Do not put it back together, Dan. Okay, so when you're putting it back together, just be real careful that you put it together the way it supposed to be and pay special attention because if you don't line one thing up um, it probably won't go together but you could do it the opposite way so that this won't line up and if that doesn't line up then it will not fit properly back when you do that when you put it back into the canister um, but I, I can tell you the design on this um, after you get into it uh, I don't know how to prevent if you got a lot of fur and stuff, you may want to try to get up the fur first so there's no clogs on it. And for sure, a good tip, do not go close to the max. Because I can see how ours got so clogged. I mean, we had over half of these clogged. Because if you keep getting the dust up in here, it's going to back it all the way up. Um, because, of course, it comes into here and then through there, which narrows down. I just don't know about the cyclone type technology. I mean, when this thing is new, was new, and now that I got it cleaned out, I mean, it'll pull the area rug up. It sucks so hard, so it really does have some good suction, better than the DC-14 and the DC-7. Uh, but, um, oh, uh, I don't want to do that. I already tested it out. But um, make sure, because real easy when you get to put it back there and this comes out of here, out of, out of there, and, and then it has to go into this hole right here. When you take it apart, all this is going to come out, so make sure, because if not, you're going to have to bend it and shove it back in there and you'll have a chance of breaking it. So if you're not very really technically inclined, oh my god, that German in the background is driving me crazy. Um, anyways, I'm going to have to um, go outside and dump it and I'll get up this litter but it works much much better now um, another tip if I didn't mention it before very easy to do is to definitely take off the three things here um, take off the cover and clean off the clean off the uh, roller with the brushes and, and in fact you really don't even have to unless you want to get up in there you can use a uh, sharp like letter opener or something to get the hair my wife has long hair and I mean Sometimes it's just, look at that, it's not, like, just unbelievable. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, um, let us know. Um, also, of course, make sure these are easy things to do. Periodically take this out, wash it, let it dry, let it dry, let it dry. Do not put it back wet. Um, and it goes back in here like so. And then this is the DC-17. If you have a DC-17, 14, you'll have a couple of different filters. They're a little bit different design. Actually, the DC-14, I don't think picks up near as good, but it's a much simpler design, much less likely to get clogged. So, um, hope that helps. And if you have any other questions about the Dyson, let me know. This is Steven, K4A, please.